On August 14th, the group of army officers led by Kenji Hatanaka would storm the Imperial Palace, attempting to find the phonographic recording of the Emperor Showa, announcing Japan's withdrawal from the war, and seeking peace with the Allies. Now, coups within the Japanese army against the government are not new. The May 27th incident is an example. But this coup was different, as in this case, the soldiers were acting in a way that could be seen as going above the Emperor. 18,000 IJA rebels would storm the halls of the Imperial Palace, tearing apart every part of the palace to find the recording and destroy it. But, due to the labyrinthian nature of the palace, the constant blackouts meaning that overhead lights were off, and the fact that the tape was hidden in among several other tapes, and was presented unassumingly on the outside, the junior officer coup failed. The leaders of the coup, including Hatanaka, all committed ritual suicide, or seppuku, on the Imperial Palace grounds. After this, the Emperor would address the nation announcing the surrender of Japan to the Allies and effectively ending World War II.